Hello everybody, welcome back. It is me, your old pal Orpheus, with another adventure here on Orpheus Plays. We are playing Blade and Sorcery here in the Marketplace. This is the Nomad version, the Quest 2 port. Very nice, very smooth, always love this version. Now today, I want to talk about something that's like, I'm going to give a different approach on this, and it's this. We need to talk about Timu, okay? <laughs> I've heard a lot of people talk about this on other videos, and it's usually a take like, well, I'll get to it in a second. Anyway, Hope you're doing well wherever you are today, whether it is day or night, or you're just slow motion jumping in like this is totally what you planned and there's nothing strange about it. Hey, how are we doing right here? <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> anyway, so let's get things kicked off. This is survival mode. Of course, three weapons come out. I get my choice and uh, I'm, I make some people very unhappy and get their uh, families some insurance policies. So anyway, let's start things off. I think I will start with this Godanak thing here. This looks interesting, looks fun, eh, why not? Let's kill some people with it. Great day for murder, yes! Let's get our first traditional slow motion kill out of the day with our first victim. She's coming up to us all the way from New Jersey. Yes, say hello to Tanya McSweeney. Oh, Tanya McSweeney has been disarmed. Okay, well now that's out of the way. <laughs> You're going to notice I'm a little stuffed up. Uh, I'm still getting over a cold. I had COVID like a month ago, and I'm, and I'm still getting over it. Um, it's a little silly. Wow, unhand him. Uh, it's a little silly how long it's been taking for this to get over uh, out of my body. But anyway, so I'm sorry for any uh, kind of sounds that you get out of me today. <laughs> anyway, so this has been covered in a lot of other uh, videos. And I've seen it like, oh, you know, like the real story behind Timu, or what are you really buying when you get Timu? Yeah. Or my favorite, the unboxings of things from Timu. And it's like, okay, well, oh, you're just unboxing something that, you know, anyway. <laughs> so it's always like this exploration into the morality of Timu and the products being good or bad quality. And you always hear a lot of different, oh, 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 nice. You always hear a lot of different opinions about it. And, oh, well, Today, I'm going to give you my take on it. And uh, it starts pretty simple. We saw, I don't even know, I, I think I saw uh, a commercial for it or something. Maybe, I don't know, a Super Bowl. I, there was there was some place that I saw like a commercial for it. And maybe it was like an ad on YouTube or something here. And um, I was like, wow, that looks interesting. Because I had seen those those sites like Alibaba and, and Ally Express and you know, wish.com and stuff like that. And I'd always seen those ones and I was like always a little skittish, right? Uh, Especially ones like, uh, what's that one called? Shenzhen? Uh, no, uh, you know which one, Xi'an, right? And they were, you know, I saw a couple videos like, oh, they have, they have Nazi propaganda things on their, on their sites and they have, oh, it's done by, by horrible people in horrible places. And, you know, so I'm like, well, you know, maybe I won't go for that one, but I saw the Timu thing. And I was like, well, that that orange <laughs> logo looks interesting, right? You know, so give it a check and install the app. Now, don't worry. Before you get all, oh, my God, you put it on your phone. Uh, I'm going to suggest that you never do that. Don't put anything on your phone that you're a little leery of. Mostly because, uh, well, a lot of people use their phones for third-party authentication, right? Come here. <laughs> Come here. I want to chop you up. Anyway, a lot of people use their phones for, like, security purposes and stuff. And so if you have, uh, you know, you give them permission to, like, see your contacts and use your phone, well, suddenly they have, like, the ability, not this one specifically. I have heard some horror stories, but I'll get to those in a second. Um, <laughs> but never, never use your phone. Use a tablet, use your computer, something like that. So that way you can lock it out and isolate it. So anyway... So I install this thing on my tablet, and I'm looking at it, and it's like, wow, they have a lot of a lot of cool stuff, right? Like the prices that what is they their their little uh, slogan is shop like a billionaire, and like okay, <laughs> back in the day, back in the day, Taco Bell was one of these places where you could order like you know. I'm going to order 17 things off the menu, and, and they're like, okay, that'll be $22.50, right? <laughs> like, I'll have nine bean burritos and, and six tacos and, like, a, a combo meal, and they're like, that's $22.50. So that's kind of like what Timu is now. You get a bunch of stuff in your cart. Oh, you know what? I should probably define what Timu is before I go talking about it, because I know some people don't know what it is. Where are you, bro? 
but I know some people don't know what it is, so let's start with that. Timu is this uh, this app that you can get, or the website, uh. and it's kind of like Wish.com or Alibaba or AliExpress, like I said, um, and it's... It's like this this app and this site where you can order, like, <laughs> type in anything that you want to buy, right? And let's say it's, I don't know, for example, I bought a couple things for this Quest headset, right? So you type in Quest 2 accessories. Okay. So, I get into that, and you start looking, and you start noticing, like, these prices on this stuff are just like, oh no, <laughs> these prices on this stuff are just like, wait a minute, those are silly, like, really cheap. And you start looking, and so let's say it's, uh, like, like I said, for this Quest uh, headset. So, if you're familiar with VR, you know about the elite straps, right? Those things that are like, they have the three segments and they go on your head, and there's a, there's a little crank on the back of it that you, that you crank down on your head. And... Mm -hmm. Usually they cost like, you know, 50 bucks, 40 bucks on whatever other site that you're going to go on. You know which one I'm talking about. If you go on that ah! one and you, you order this thing, it's like, you know, 35, 40 bucks. We go on to this Timu thing and the same, the same thing is, is like 12 bucks or like nine bucks. And it's like, what the hell? How is this? How is this possible? Well, here's how I started looking at it. I started going and I'd, I'd find an item on Timu, and I'd be like, huh, okay, well, so, <laughs> I'd, I'd find one on Timu that I really liked, and then I'd go on to one of the major uh, wholesalers, or retailers, right, so, the one like, uh, Amazon, right, let's see if the, <laughs> the closed caption gets that one, uh, the large one, you know, the, the guy that sent people to space in his dick ship, anyway, that guy, um, that one or Walmart is the other one. I don't mind saying Walmart. They don't really care. <laughs> they're not. They're not a company that's like, oh, you you said our name. Oh, here's our legal team. No. So you go and you check on those other sites, and you go, wait a minute, wait a minute. These are the same items. And before you're like, well, you know, they're counterfeit. I'm not looking for a Nintendo Switch, folks. I'm <laughs> like, I'm looking for those little bits of technology that make life better. You know what I'm talking about. Chargers and, and, and batteries and like little accessories for things or maybe t-shirts or whatever. Oh, take that, girl. <laughs> oh, man. Here, wait, get up, get up. Oh, no. Come here, get up. There we go. That'll take care of you. Oh, you're the last one. You are our last contestant. Let's do it as a slow motion. <laughs> no, maybe you're not. Ooh, there's, there's one person left. But, you know, oh, there, no, I, I did it. Uh, so, <laughs> you you take a look and it's like, I'm, I'm not buying things that are like, you know, completely serious. I'm, I'm not looking for like, you know, a, a trauma kit for my body, which, you know, they have medical items too, but... There are some things that I, I kind of won't buy. So, like, makeup for my wife is an example. Not because it's necessarily bad or anything like that. I just... It's it's hard to get makeup for, for some people. And if that's your thing, you know, if you're going to go on there and you're going to get some makeup, that's cool. Just realize it may not uh, go under the same rigorous standards as American-made uh, products, right? Oh, uh, come here. Uh. And so... If you're going to go on there, I wouldn't say makeup. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily buy anything like uh, food items. I don't even know if they sell food items. I don't think they can. And, and, and we'll get into that in just a second why uh, part of it is so cheap. But, like, you know, I'm looking for, let's say, that, that Elite headset strap. And it's the exact same, like, manufacturer name. And... You know all those manufacturer names that are like the cheap, the cheaper companies that are overseas, you know, like in China where it's like, you know, oh, it's, it's Dong Hua or something, a D-O-N-G-H-U-A-U or like, you know, they, <laughs> a lot of them have those like ridiculous names that you know they have no idea what the <laughs> implications are. Like they'll be called something like, uh. You know, like Dong Safe or something, and, and there's it's completely unironic. They they have no idea that they're talking about Dongs, right? <laughs> Come here, die, jeez. But you know, so you've all seen those companies where it's like you know some silly name and it's some item, and the the title on the item has like every keyword you could ever look up for that item. So like for the Quest Two thing, it's like VR safe, fun, happy helmet headset <laughs> Quest. You know, like, elite strap, battery strap, pack strap, happy, you know, like, 
all these ridiculous words. And so I look at it. It's the same brand. It's got the same explanation. You you go to the to the on site. Ooh, I said it. Oh God! I'll have to beep that out, or maybe I won't. Who cares? Anyway, so you go to the to the main site, and it's like thirty five dollars. You go to Timu, and it's like twelve bucks. And you go, well, I mean, there's got to be a catch. Uh, no. <laughs> the thing is, one of the biggest complaints that I've always seen about Team is that it takes so long. Oh, my God. It takes so long for stuff to get here. Okay, well, let's explain why Timu is so cheap. Okay, so first of all, Timu is the same manufacturers for many items that are used for the large retailers. Uh, so, the... The same companies that sell to no! the large one, that's that's the, the river in the, uh, the <laughs> in the jungle, um, you, uh, you go and you, it's the same manufacturer, they're the same ones that supply the big retailer, but they're on the smaller retailer because it's easier for them, and they have the, we're, we're used to shipping being like, you know, two day shipping, three day shipping. So what they do with these products from Timu is they put them on a boat, a big container ship, or they put them on in a, in a big container that goes on a on a plane, right? And flies across the ocean. So yes, it takes a little longer, but what you're getting for that is the savings, okay? And they have free shipping on, I think, everything right now, and they still do. They haven't like changed it in in more than a year now, and so. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you, you're saving that money on the shipping and everything. You know, let me, let me do this instead. Hi-ya! Get a little electrified Excalibur action. Uh, I used to be the drummer for electrified Excalibur. Ah! That's an in joke between my wife and I. Anyway, <laughs> so you're getting that, that thing sent on a shipping container, and so it's, you know, tons cheaper. You're getting the free shipping out of it. It just takes longer. Well, you can get stuff like enamel pins and pocket watches and and like bags and like you know furniture and it's, it's just silly the amount of stuff that's on there a lot of it is you know if you're into decoration and you're into like you know uh, franchise decoration all right so let's talk about the next thing let's talk about the next thing which is products on there that are copyrighted material okay okay now this might be this might be a little controversial in terms of my opinion here, but I'll try to make it as not controversial as possible because I don't do drama on this channel and this won't be drama. It'll just be some people won't be as happy with me as others. Now, let's say, <clears throat> excuse me, let's say you go on there onto Timu and you see that there is a Disney shirt. It's, oops. It's some sort of Disney property. So let's uh, take a real-life example. It's uh, the Muppets, right? The Muppets are owned by Disney, I think. I'm pretty sure. If they aren't, leave a comment in the comment below, and uh, I'll correct myself at some point, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so let's say it's, uh, it's the Muppets. And you go and you're like, I really like the Muppets. And you look for something that's, that's Muppety. And for me, it was this t-shirt that has um, uh, Professor Bunsen. It has Professor Bunsen and Beaker's faces. Just their heads and like a cartoon, like simplified version. And it just it just says science on it underneath them. That's it. It's, it just says science. <laughs> it's a really fun looking t-shirt. Let's see if I can find a picture of it. Yeah, there we go. That one right there. Yeah, that's 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 the T-shirt. Now, that is uh, something that if you go on to one of the major retailers and you look that up, it's gonna cost you like thirty-four fifty or something ridiculous like that. Because you know everyone's got to get their cut. You gotta have. <laughs> Tried to jump to avoid that. It's like jumping in an elevator that's crashing. Ain't gonna work. Bro. And so. You go on to one of the major sites, and everyone's got to get their cut from that. You got Disney wants their cut, and the the Henson people want their cut, and the big retailer wants their cut, and and like you know taxes and blah 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 blah. Okay, well on Timu, that t same T-shirt cost me nine dollars, nine dollars, and you're whoa, it's cheap material. Uh, no, I knew exactly what I was getting. It's that kind of you know that material that like uh, Under Armour, the the body armor, no Under Armour that that stuff is made out of or those you know it, they're everywhere <laughs> it's the um 
the, the cloth material that they made fun of and idiocracy that everybody had. That kind of stuff. It's, you know, is it the most expensive stuff out there? No. But I live in a place where, like, it is hot as bloody Hades most of the year, okay? <laughs> it's hotter than bloody Hades here. But it is. And so these t-shirts are perfect because they're thin. They wick away moisture. <laughs> they're perfect for, like, working out or just chilling around the house, whatever. But, like, it cost me, like, nine something. Like, nine bucks. Nine, nine fifty or something. So I saved, like, what, $21 on the thing? Or $15? Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> whatever I saved on it. Math not good. Math not good today. But... You know, there you go. I saved all that money. Now, here comes the morality. <sighs> Do I feel bad about buying something like that? And I've done it for all sorts of things off of Timu. You know, let's 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 you know, all cards on the table. I've bought a, a good amount of stuff from Timu. I've never ever had a bad experience. Sure, some things were cheap. Okay, sure, some things didn't work. But I emailed the, you know, I use their customer service part of the thing. They either refund you fully or send you another one. I've never had a problem at all with any of that stuff. And they said, oh, well, you know, returns are so difficult. Well, if you're buying a Nintendo Switch from them, first of all, what are you, what are you doing? There is obviously some counterfeit stuff on there, folks. Uh, <laughs> I, I've been victim of it, too. But again, it's nothing that's, like, earth-shattering. I'm not, I'm not, like, getting parts for my BMX bike so I can go do a competition this weekend. You know what I'm saying? It's silly stuff. So, you know, everyone gets their cut. Do you feel bad about not making sure that Disney gets their, you know, like out of a $35 item that Disney gets their $20? Do you care? Do you, do you really care that, that Disney doesn't make an extra 20 bucks off of you that day? I mean, come on. Do you really care? I understand the Muppets, right? I love the Muppets too. I have an entire episode about the Muppets where I talk about it, but I, I don't really care if the Muppet people who own the copy right now it's not like it's the henson foundation that does all the charities and everything is it you know is it do i feel bad that they're not getting their cut uh, you know do i feel bad that i'm not paying all those licensing and copyright fees mm, eh, not necessarily okay so when i get all that savings and everything it's like i you know i I have a hard time feeling bad about paying one third of the cost for something and cutting out all the BS that comes between me as a consumer and the company in a whole, in a whole, as a whole. Okay, so let's discuss the morality of the labor practices and everything involved. Ah, I want you to remember for just a second one really important thing, and that is that about everything that you buy, off of whether it's off of an online retailer or whether it's off of you know the shelf in a store you go to a big box store like a walmart or a target or something it doesn't matter where you buy those things they're still gonna be made in china okay they're gonna be made in taiwan they're gonna be made in in bangladesh or somewhere Ooh. <laughs> they're gonna be made somewhere where it's it's, you know, the labor practices are something that most places are going to go, oh my god, that's horrible. Okay, well, how do you think you get most of the stuff that you use in your house? Okay? It filters down whether you like it or not. So you may as well save a little bit of cash on it by not going through all the other extra steps. Now, I'm one of those people that I love technology. I love little gadgets. I love little little doodads and whatchamacallits and singing. Ooh. <laughs> and things like that. Okay. So, for example, there was a smartwatch that I bought off of uh, one of the house, the smart house retailers that I use. Um, I have half of my house with, with their products in it. So I've trusted their products. Well, I saw, I saw a smartwatch on there that I was like, wow, that's really cool. It's got a lot of cool feet. What is happening here? It's got a lot of cool features. It's got everything that I'm looking for right now in a, in a smartwatch. And I, I buy it and it was like 30 bucks as opposed to like, you know, 330 bucks, right? I'm not going to say what to watch it was uh, sort of imitating slash copying. I'm also not going to tell you that, that all the accessories for that bigger company watch um, are also, they fit this one, but, <laughs> you know, 
it's this one that looks just like the big brand watch. It works just like it. It has the same like features and stuff like that. And it cost me $35. Now, where am I going with this? Okay. Well, I was on Timu yesterday and I saw not just a similar one, the exact same watch. And guess how much it was? $32. Okay. So I know that the companies are using these products. It's trickling down and you're getting it as a consumer here in the United States or Canada or UK or wherever you're getting it from. Now, be smart, be safe, use your best judgment. It's not bad quality stuff. It's not really all that bad in terms of downsides. Give it a try. It's not like I'm sponsored or anything. I, hell no, I'm not sponsored by anybody. But it is something I wanted to share my experience, my opinions, and my feelings about. And I think it's something that you don't get in a lot of these videos, which is complete honesty about it. Do I feel bad about those big companies getting their licensing? Uh, you know, kind of pulled out from under them for these products? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Allegedly. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one here on Orpheus Plays. Be good, do good, treat yourself well, because you know what? You deserve it. All right, see ya. Bye.